this is it. Leg and Greg vegan cap, the 1st of July 2023. This bucket is uh, full right now. Usually it's just only half full. Yesterday we had a lot of rain. So when this bucket is full from all the water from the, the roof that goes into this bucket, then I can use this bucket to water some of the new plants around like the saparot, like the ananas, pineapple. The, the rain has finally come. Everything is just so alive. Mosquitoes, the the bees are swarming and jackfruit is ripening and rotting everywhere and just the asparagus is coming up, the no mice, the, the, the bamboo shoot, the sweet bamboo shoots are coming up. Everything is just alive, bananas, everything is growing and it's just amazing times. So this is a very special Manau, caviar lime. So it only has one, one child, one fruit. It's a, it's a very special lime that grows really slowly. We, I think Lek planted it like five, six years ago. The orange lime is finally giving uh, fruit. So we might actually eat more than one or two fruits this season. When, when everything is active like this, or the bacteria in the soil, also the weeds will grow like crazy. So we focus a lot on uh, cutting the, the grass in this season. So we just uh, cut the grass here with some help from, from neighbors too. We use uh, gasoline uh, cutters and we also use an uh, electric lawnmower. Now we have two batteries. The good thing about the electric lawnmower is that it collects the, the weeds and we can use it around the small trees, the young trees and also the other plants. Like shaken, not, not tree drop, but shaken limes from the tree. Very, very, oh, the smell is so nice and the taste and oh, everything. So just before the rain hit, also when the, there were some rains, we started to plant pumpkin and beans. Because when we do that, at this time, they grow very well and around October, October, November, they are ready to, to harvest. September, October, November, something like that. So this red Cavendish banana behind me here, one month ago I chopped it everything down because there were a lot of worms inside. And now it just grows back like this. It's uh, goes really quick when the temperature is high and a lot of water. Last month has been of course big planting, planting season, which means that everybody has been planting something in their gardens. And you can see a land around us, for example this one where there are also mango trees, there are uh, the, the plant that is growing right here uh, and it's very early stage is corn. It's not sweet corn, it's corn for animal feed and maybe corn starch or whatever like this that so this is a money crop which is um, not the best for the environment but this is how people around here earn some extra money I have some uh, community projects around here uh, where aunties and other family members are coming and doing uh, stuff so one of our community projects here is the drying drying stations these are solar dryers um, with the ventilators that are solar powered and Auntie Ni Nani is Nani, Nani hmm. is making uh, mango uh, rolls. So the auntie is very happy because the, um, there are no bugs or insects going into the food and the, most of the ants are kept away too. The main task or project on my mind for Lekin Greg Vegan Camp is to take care of all these uh, Nam Dog Mai mangoes, mango trees, so we will not get the, the bug Pia Chakachan 
the mango leaf hopper I think it's called I don't remember but these small guys that uh, that pee this black pee some stuff and and the, the trees turn black uh, from the from the fungi and stuff and we lose like 90% of the nan dog mice but that is my main task project right now like on the long term uh, to to see how we can handle them and the first way we do that is to cut down the trees to a much smaller size because we have a small tree over there that actually has so I think if the, si the size of the trees are smaller and the bugs cannot spread like wildfire that might help also we've been trying different fungi and bacteria which are not so effective but I, I will try to do some measurements and look in the microscope to see if I can see if the, the powder is bad or something with the bacteria and also we have different oil extracts I want to try to, to get rid of the, these bugs uh, before the next season because it would be really nice if we can have some, at least some Namdog Mai mangoes too. I mean, I'm, we're really happy with these and we have so many in the freezers, but the Namdog Mai is my, my, my main thing that is something I would like to figure out how to do. One of, one of the benefits of living in a community, like a little community like this in Thailand is that you you get like small presents like this from from aunties and stuff. So, Auntie Ni just came with uh, these nice mangoes for us to uh, try and eat. Tree dropped fruit from the garden. Here are some limes for some lime water later. And here we have uh, all these mangoes are tree dropped, uh, local types. Uh, we had a lot of these mangoes. We have I don't know how many frozen boxes of these we have, but there's, there's almost no space in the freezers anymore. So this, this uh, was tree dropped without a bag on um, and it seems like a bird or some other animal has been already eating it but it doesn't matter, I'll just cut it away and, and some of these will be our, our breakfast and the rest will go into the refrigerator. Actually you might think that tree dropped is like the, the best thing and the perfect ripeness but for us uh, we feel like the, they are a, they are they are overripe, they're a bit overripe when they are tree drop. Also, the impact when they are so ripe and they fall down from the tree, the impact with the soil is just not so good for the mango. So if we can pick them just before, or or two days before they tree drop, that would be awesome. So the way we do that is we just rotate the fruit gently, and if it just snaps easily off, it's it's ready to harvest. Also when the mangoes turn from completely green to a little bit different color, more light greenish, it's also time to, to, to pick them. I've removed the insect netting from the mangoes and now the ants in the insect netting can go out because the ants can actually go inside this insect netting. And if they, we leave them in the sun for an hour or two, the ants will go out and we can wash the bags and reuse them again next season. Long ants coming up, actually end of this month, end of July, they will be coming. And also we will have long ants uh, during August. So end of July, August, main season of long ants.